In today's video, I'm going to show you how you make a combo chart, just like this one. A combo chart is called a combo chart because it shows two different variables for some of the observations at once. In this chart, we're going to put horsepower over here on the left, so the horsepower of a car, and on the right side, represented by the orange line, is going to be the average price people paid for the car. So the blue bars are the horsepower, the orange line is telling us the price in the right axis. So let me delete this one and let's get going. So again, we're working with our cars data here. When you're making a combo chart, if we were to use all 93 cars, that would be just too much. So what I did in my chart is I just used all the cars here made by Chevrolet. So let's filter out just the Chevrolets. Let's move those to another tab on our worksheet here, and then let's make our graph. So let's use our filter that we did in a previous video. So click in the data, go to data, filter, and then we can just click make and unclick the select all button here and just click Chevrolet. And now what we can do is we can just highlight all this data, control C to copy. Let's add a new worksheet here and let's paste it here. Now that we just have our Chevrolets, what I did in my graph is I used the horsepower and the average price. But I think it's more confusing if we were to leave price here in tens of thousands. So what I'm going to do is create a new variable. So let me left click on the F, right click, and go to insert. And that'll give us a little open column here. And I'll call this AVG price. And then I'm going to type a formula here. I'm going to multiply this by a thousand. So it equals G2 times a thousand. And then I'm going to use the little tiny fill handle here on the bottom right, and I'm going to drag that down, and that'll copy that formula. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click Home, and then I'm going to hit this dollar sign here. That'll format these in terms of dollars, which will look a little better on our graph, I think. Okay, now we're ready to make our graph, which is actually the easy part. We want three things to show up on our graph. First is the model, so let's left click and drag to highlight all those models. Now we're going to use a new shortcut that I haven't talked about before. We're going to go over here to these two columns, horsepower and average price. We're going to hold down the control key, then left click and highlight these two columns. That lets us highlight data that is in different regions. So again, we first highlighted model, and then we held down the control key, left click, and highlighted the horsepower and the price. Now all we have to do is go to insert and go over here to the charts. And combo charts are this little icon right here that has both a line and bars in it. Insert combo chart. Let's click the drop down arrow and it lets us select between a couple of different possibilities here. And the one in the middle is giving us both those bars and the orange line. So let's click that one. All right, let's make this bigger so that we can see what we're going to need to do to clean this up a little bit. So step one, we need to give it a title that makes sense. Next, in order to try to make this as easy for people to tell what they're looking at as possible, we want to add labels to each of these two axes. On the left, horsepower. On the right, we want to tell people that's the price, even though it is in dollars and that's a little more obvious. So to add those, let's go to Add Chart Element here on the top left, Axis Titles, and we want to add a Primary Vertical. And see, when we go to Primary Vertical, it adds this little axis title. So I'm going to double click there. I'm going to keep clicking until it selects all the text that we want to replace. So now that that's turned gray, we're going to call that Horsepower. And then we're going to do a similar kind of thing, Add Chart Element, Axis Titles, and Secondary Vertical. When you're making any kind of chart, it's your job to try to make it as clear as possible that anyone just walking into a room and picking up this graph ought to be able to interpret basically what it's about without having to ask questions or consult any other source. The last thing I want to do to this graph is I want to add little dots to show us exactly where those prices are. So let's click on the orange line. And there are a lot of different ways to accomplish this, but let's go to Format, Format Selection, and let's go to the little bucket picture here. Click on the marker, click Marker Options, and see where it says None. 
built in and let's tell it let's see well, right now it's putting a little orange ball on there which is okay if we wanted to make it a little more contrast with the orange that's there we could change the color to something else let's see maybe a a green we'll see how that looks so as always with everything you learn in excel i encourage you to play around with it explore all of the different options that you have to customize the graphs and give them different styles and different colors but make sure in the end that what you're presenting is very clear to the viewer